Hiya, babe. Say hi by la... Ouch. Does that answer your question, buddy? The Adventures of Macy, starring Ann Southern. <laughs> You all remember Metro Golden Mayor's famous Maisie pictures. In just a moment, you'll hear Maisie in radio, starring the same glamorous star you all went to see and loved on the screen, and Southern. But first, your announcer. Southern as Maisie. Yep, I'm Maisie, like the man said, Maisie Bevere. I'm of the theater. Of course, I could have had speaking parts in legitimate dramatic productions that wasn't for one handicap. I was born with a Brooklyn accent. But I ain't kicking about that. Look at the handicap a skunk comes into the world with. Anyway, there's an awful lot of people in this world that are worse off than me. Of course, I have only one pair of shoes, but so what? I only have one pair of feet. So you see, that's why I'm out today on an errand of mercy. I'm going from door to door gathering old discarded clothes for the poor folks who ain't as blessed as you and me. Now, here's a house I'm sure has lots of old clothes they don't need. I can tell by that poster in the window, Alf Landon for president. They never throw anything away. Yes. Good morning, madam. I'm collecting old discarded clothes for the needy of this town. Well, goody, goody for you. Good day, miss. I've got a lot of things to do. Oh, please, madam. This is really an emergency. Why, there are little boys in this town who have to go around barefooted. You wouldn't want your little boys to go around without shoes, would you? I'd love it. Then maybe my furniture wouldn't get so scratched up. Now, if you don't mind... Are you sure you don't have something worn and useless around the house that you could give to a poor family? No, not a thing. Well, um, what about your husband? Don't be silly. What would a poor family do with my husband? Good day, miss. I'm sorry I have no clothes to give you. Oh. Well, um, what about your grandchildren? Grandch... Miss, I'm a very young woman. <gasps> oh. Well, perhaps it's that horrible-looking dress you're wearing that makes you look so old. The, 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 this dress makes me look old? Mm-hmm. Why, like you're at the age where a cup of tea would rest you. Well, I'm taking it off right now. Oh. Give it to some poor woman. There you are. Oh, thanks. Um, madam, I'm sure some poor person could use that girdle you're wearing. It's much too small for you, you know. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, my corseteer charged me $30 for it. She charged you $30 for that girdle? Yes. Do you think I was taken in? Yeah, but not enough. Well, you may have it, too, then, for the poor. Oh. Uh, help me get it off. All right. <clears throat> yeah, who's there? I'm sort of a charity worker. I collect old clothes for poor, unfortunate people. Oh, good. I can use a suit and shoes. Well, I came here to see if you had some clothes you don't need. Are you kidding I got an audition for a part in a play, and I'm sitting here wrapped in a blanket. Oh, are you an actor? I ain't an Indian. Oh. Hey, say maybe you got a suit or something I can wear for the audition. Well, all I've collected so far is a dress and a girdle. Say, I I'm still making rounds for discarded clothes. Maybe if I had an idea of your size, I could dig something up for you. Open the door. Uh, you open it, lady. I'm too weak to turn the knob. Well, I don't know about shoes, but a suit maybe. <gasps> Bill... Bill Norton. Maisie Revere. Uh, don't mind the way I look, Maisie. They ain't making these blankets with as much drape as they used to. Oh, gosh, Bill. It's good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you since we did that picture together in Hollywood. Hey, what have you been doing lately, Maisie? Oh, not bad. I got a chance coming up to audition for a tryout for a benefit. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, things not breaking for you, too, huh? Yeah, pretty slow, mm. Bill. But that audition of yours for the show, Bill... You mean you don't have a suit to wear? Oh, nothing but that one over there. 
Ah, I see. Looks like a sunset with sleeves. Oh, I don't mean the color. Green with yellow stripes is real smart, Maisie. The latest thing from London. Everybody wears suits like that on the other side. Some smart, I'll say. Maybe you should wear that one on the other side. It probably looks better with the lining showing. Well, it's not that, Maisie. Take a good look at it. Ever see as many wrinkles in your life? Yeah. If it had cords, you could use it for a Venetian blind. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, why not take the suit to the tailors and have it pressed? When do you need it for? Tonight, but, uh... uh... Oh, that broke, huh? Uh Uh-huh. And I can't budge from the room either, Maisie, in case a call comes from my agent for something better. Well, look, i got to drop these old clothes off to a poor old woman who lives with her unemployed son, Roland, down in the slums. The salvage outfit gave me their address. And I'll take your suit to the tailor's on the way. Oh, you know, Maisie, I don't think you've got a selfish bone in your body. Ah, don't kid yourself, Sonny. You should catch me racing for an empty seat in the subway. See you later. I'm so excited and nervous. Just think this is my first job. And if I make good, Ma, I'll take you out of this here dump and buy you real nice clothes. Oh, Roland, my son, I'm so proud of you. When you were a little boy, your father and I thought you'd never amount to anything. But just look at you today. Ready to rob your face bank. Yeah. Well, it's getting late, Ma. I'd better get to work, huh? Son, are you crazy? You're not going to rob the bank in your new suit. Why not? Why not, he asks. Suppose you get shot, you'll get a hole in it. Say, who could I be, Ma? You duck in the kitchen, son. And don't let me catch you swiping any of them cookies I just baked. If there's anything I can't stand, it's a crook. Go on now. Okay, Ma. Yeah? What do you want, girlie? Good afternoon, you poor old thing. I'm handing out clothes to the needy. Can you use this dress, Ma? Oh, yeah, dearie, bless you. Oh, well, then here you are. Uh, I say, uh, that there suit over your arm. Uh, the green one with the yellow stripes? Yeah. Scary looking, ain't it? Not for my son. In this family, the men folks are sort of used to wearing stripes. <laughs> Could you maybe let me have it for my role and maybe, huh? Oh, well, I'm sorry, Mom, but the owner ain't through with it yet. I'm just bringing it to the tailors to be pressed. You see, the owner needs it for a job. Oh, please, miss. My Roland needs a suit, too. He also has a job. Only he has to go there without a thing to wear. Hmm. Where is this job? In a Turkish bath? Uh, no. Oh. He's, um, shall we say, entering a bank. Oh, and the green suit matched the money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, gee, I'm awful sorry, but the owner of this Roland suit... would only need it for about an hour. Oh, just long enough to cinch the job? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you might say that. <laughs> it's his first job, miss. And I promised his poor old father before he was electrocuted, b- before he passed away, that I'd do all I could to see that Roland got a chance to carry on the family heritage. Your husband was a bank worker? Exclusively. Oh. <laughs> and he always wanted Roland to follow in his fingerprints. I, I mean, footprints. Well, I promised... I promised you... Roland's father... Well, Bill, really don't need the suit till tonight. He can have it back in an hour. I'll press it for him, too. Well, all right. Here. I'll be back for it in an hour. Oh, thank you, miss. You're very good. Tell your friend I'll pray for him. Who was it, Mom? (laughs) Santa Claus, son. Look what she left you to wear when you robbed the bank. Gee, a green suit with yellow stripes. Yeah, hey, ain't that going to be sort of conspicuous? That's the idea, Jake. Oh. When you get through with the job, the suit goes back to the goon that owns it. And then when the cops look for a guy wearing a green suit with yellow stripes... Oh, gee, Mom. You're the crookedest, connivingest dame I ever knew. Ah, you're just saying that because I'm your mother. <laughs> Say that again, Maisie, slowly. What happened to my suit? I told you, Bill. I was walking along the street when this boy came up to me and said, Give me that suit, lady, or I'll shoot. Hmm. And what did this boy look like? Well, he looked like he meant it. Maisie, I don't believe you. You mean you don't believe a man held me up? Man? Before you said it was a boy. 
Well, he grew up. How could he grow up so fast? Vitamin pills. Oh, Macy, I I have an audition tonight, and I want you to get me that suit right now. You mean the green one? Yes, the green one. And I want it before it gets dark. Oh, it won't get dark, Bill. It'll always stay green. Get me that suit. That's all the money from the Second National Bank job, Ma. Believe me, $28,000. Well, it's about time you got back. What took you so long? On the way out, I stopped to get my pocket check validated. What a dope. Here, here's the green suit with the stripes that I wore. Uh, Ma, there's a little bullet hole in the sleeve of the coat from one of the guard's bullets. Well, thank goodness it just went through the sleeve. Yeah. Yeah, if I was shot through the heart, it might have given me heartburn, huh? That must be the dame back for the suit, son. Huh? You go into the bathroom and take a bath. Okay, Ma. Uh, where are my toy boats? They're still in the tub from last month. Hello, Ma. I came back for the suit if your son is through with it. Oh, he is, dearie. Here's the suit. And here's a dollar bill for your kindness. Gee, a dollar just for lending your suit. It's real generous of you. Golly, I hope Bill never finds out where this came from. I hope nobody finds out. Maisie, there's something funny about this. Funny? When you took this suit, it was in perfect condition. And now, look, there's a hole in the sleeve. Hole? Oh, <laughs> uh, that, um, 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 a moth ate it. A moth? Mm-hmm. There are powder marks around the edge of the hole. Powder? Oh, well, maybe it was eaten by a lady moth. Oh, Maisie, that burnt hole in the sleeve couldn't have been done by a moth. And where did this dollar bill come from? The mint in Washington. I see. No, D.C. Look, Maisie, I... what are you going to do with the dollar? (sighs) Frankly, I haven't thought about it very much. Maybe I'll buy myself a couple of yachts. (laughs) Ah, I'm glad you can still make jokes. That means you've forgiven me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how about this dollar? Well, now, that's what I've been thinking. You ought to take that dollar to the bank and start an account. That way you'll never be so broke again. Uh, Maisie, do you think we can find a bank that'll handle as large a sum as a dollar? Well, sure. I'll wait outside while you get into your suit, and then we'll go down to the Second National Bank and open an account. But you must have gotten a look at the crook, Mr. Grindle. After all, it was at your window that he stole the money. But I didn't see the hold-up man's face, Inspector. All I noticed about him was that he had a red handkerchief over his eyes, and he was wearing a green suit with yellow stripes. A green suit with yellow stripes? Yes. Nauseating combination, don't you think? Yeah, disgusting. Yes. Yeah, thank goodness all those dollar bills were marked with X's. Grindle, if you should ever run into the hold-up man, do you know what you're going to do? You mean, after I faint? Uh, yes. If any of those marked dollar bills show up, I want you to call me. I'll be in the president's office for a while. Yes, sir. Maisie, I I feel silly coming into a big bank like this and opening an account with a measly dollar. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Bill. Thrift is a wonderful thing. Yes, folks. And what can I do for you? I'd like to open... Oh, my goodness. Oh, the green suit. Gee, I knew that suit was terrible, Bill, but I didn't think it would scare people. Look, Teller, I'd like to start a new account here. Start a new account? Mm Mm-hmm. Well, if you're all out of new ones, we won't mind taking one that's already started. Look, I want to start my account with this. Oh, a dollar. See, Bill, and you thought they wouldn't accept such a small amount. (laughs) You thought you weren't wanted. Oh, you're wanted all right, sir, but badly. Oh, gee, thanks. Uh, You stay right here. I'll be back in a teensy-weensy second. Maisie, Maisie, there's something screwy about all this. I think so, too. You do? Yeah. Bill, that clerk was sure anxious to get your dollar. Maybe this bank hasn't been doing much business lately. Uh, uh, These are the people that uh, wanted to open the account, sir. Well, we did, but we've changed our minds. Goodbye. Wait a minute, lady. I've got a gun. 
Well, gun or no gun, you can't force us to open the account. Now, look here, you. You're, you're making a mistake. You made a mistake when you came into this bank with that green suit to make a deposit. Well, we didn't want to deposit the suit, just a dollar. Yeah, look at this dollar. Under Washington's picture is an X. You mean Washington couldn't sign his own name? You're under arrest, both of you. Under arrest? Yes. For robbing this bank. Maisie, Maisie, what's all this about? Where's all the rest of that money? Search me. Gladly. I didn't mean you, you wolf. Well, come along. I'm taking you both to headquarters. The Adventures of Maisie, starring Anne Southern, will continue in just a moment. the story, Miss Revere. This whole thing is just one horrible mistake, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry we put you to all the trouble of arresting us. So long, Inspector. Just a moment, Miss. The cell door is closed. Well, you open it at once or one of us is going to be mighty sorry. Uh, one of us? Yeah, me. Yeah. Miss Revere, you're a very pretty woman. you got a lot to live for. You don't want to spend the next 20 years of your life behind bars, do you? Well, frankly, I haven't given it much thought lately. I never planned very far ahead, you know. Oh, now, look, Miss Revere, you can do yourself a lot of good if you listen to reason. Jail isn't a place for a girl like you. Well, that's what I keep telling you, Inspector. Open the door, please. Sure, sure. But first, Miss Revere, I'd like to make you a little proposition. <gasps> Why, Inspector? Uh, please, you don't get what I'm driving at. And you don't get what you're driving at. What I'm trying to say, Miss Revere, is that if you turn state's evidence and pin that bank job on your boyfriend, Norton, you can walk out of here a free woman. It's Norton we're after. But Bill didn't do it, Inspector. He's just an actor. Yeah, how'd he get that bullet hole in his suit? Well, some actors ain't as good as others. Look, I know who robbed that bank, and I can prove it. While you're in jail, Miss Revere? Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay, chum. I'll talk. Now you're cooking with gas. Well, when I tell all I know about Norton, he'll be cooking with electricity. Yeah, fine, fine. Okay, Sarge, bring Norton in. Go on, Inspector. In here, Norton. Macy, Macy, are you all right? Don't talk to me, you worm. Worm? What are you sore about? You're the one that got us into this. Don't give me that big Louie. Big Louie? Alias Benny the Dip. Alias Sam the Lug, alias Terry the Pirate. Say, what is this? You can stop making with the innocent act, Norton. Your lady friend has confessed. Confessed? But she didn't do it. Of course I didn't, you rat. Maisie, what's gotten into you? Now, a little common sense. Norton, you're going to jail for 50 years. But, but I can't do 50 years. But do as much as you can. I mean, I've got to be out of here by tonight. I've got to audition for a part in the play. I'm a an actor, Inspector. An actor. Yeah, and a pretty good one at that. Yeah. When you showed me all that dough you robbed from them other banks, you made me believe you won it on a sweepstakes ticket. Maisie, that's ridiculous. Look, Inspector, I can prove I wasn't even in that bank. My landlady... Won't see you for a long time, Norton. Lock him up again, Sarge. I'm on, Scott. Take your hands off of him. Well, that cleans up this case. Miss Revere, you're free. Thanks, Inspector. So long, Bill. And just to make sure they don't keep you in jail more than 50 years, I'm going to send you a calendar. Wait a minute. Did you say she's going to go free, Inspector? Like a boy, chump. Like a boy. Oh, so that's it. I'm the fall guy. Maisie? Maisie, how could you do this to me? I thought you were so good. So kind. So warm-hearted. Ah, shut up. Take him away, Sarge. He's getting on my nerves. Yeah, on mine, too. Gee whiz. Ain't he a hollering one? Come on. Yes, yeah, so long, Norton. See you in court. I ain't think nothing, Inspector. 
Uh, now, don't you start, Captain. We got the guy that robbed the bank, and I can prove it, eh, Miss Revere? What else? You'll have to find a new pigeon, Inspector. Norton here's got an airtight alibi. I have? <laughs> I mean, uh, I have. But he can't have an alibi. Norton's landlady said he didn't leave his room all day long. Well, Maisie? Well, don't be mad at me, Bill Norton. I was only doing this to get the goods on the real crook. Yeah, but I don't want the real crook. Yeah, I mean, get the goods on him. Well, I think I know who it is. The old lady's son, Roland. Roland? You think you can get the goods on him? Well, Roland's a man. So? So, I'm a woman. So? So, didn't your father ever tell you about the birds and bees, Inspector? Oh, you mean... <laughs> Why, Inspector, you're blushing. Yeah. <laughs> I'll need a little help on this caper, Inspector. A good actor. Well, Norton here's an actor. <clears throat> well... Yeah, but this isn't my kind of work. I, I only act for money. There's a $500 reward for the capture. Uh, what do you want me to do, Maisie? Well, I ain't sure yet, but here's the general idea. I'll drop in on Roland and make like a gun mule. Yeah, that's Maul. A mule is a jackass. Yeah. Like I was saying, I'll be a gun mule, Bill. Give me a few minutes alone with Roland. Then you... Gosh, Mom, where are we going to put all this loot from the bank? It sure takes up a lot of room, huh? That's your fault for taking only one dollar bills. Didn't they have any tens and twenties? Say, Mom, mm. it, maybe I could have a couple of bucks to maybe take out a girl. Take out a girl? You, Roland? Well, shucks, Mom, I gotta do something for excitement. I ain't getting a kick out of them comic books like I used to, you know. Well, you stay away from women, Roland. They're slow poison. They are. They are. I'll go see if I can find a safe place to stash the dough. You keep an eye on it. Yeah, sure, Mom. Never mind dames. Just watch the dough. Oh. Yeah. Who is there? It's experience, Roland. Experience? I don't know nobody by that name. I'm a girl, Roland. I'm Roland. A girl? Yeah. You've seen girls in ballrooms, ain't you? They're the ones that dance backwards. Let me in, handsome. Oh, gosh. A woman. In just a second. Hello, tall, dark, and... <clears throat> Blackie from Shy sent me to look you up. Blackie from Shy? Eh. Uh, oh, I don't know a Blackie from Shy. Oh. You know Whitey? No. What colors do you know? Well, as a brownie... That's that... it. Brownie sent me to look you up. Oh. I just got out of Sing Sing, Roland. Oh, you did? Sing Sing? But they only have men there. Then I got out just in time, if you know what I mean. Just in time? You don't know what I mean. Say, you're even handsomer than Brownie told me. Uh, yeah, hey? Does you mean it, hey? I sure do, hey. Come closer, Roland. Much closer. Oh, uh, I, uh, hey, 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 stay away from me. You female, you. My mom told me that women is slow poison. Well, what's your hurry? Come on, kiss me, handsome. I'm in the mood. Oh, gee, you really think I'm handsome? When I'm in the mood, anybody's handsome. Come on, shoot the lips to me, doll. Okay. Here, here hold my bubble gum. So, just like I thought... There is another man. Heavens, it's me husband. Oh, sit down, mister. We'll be through in a moment. E you're married. Hey, you didn't tell me. You didn't ask me. I meant her. I didn't know he was back, Roland. I ain't seen him in years. Well, I was in prison in Afghanistan. Fine time to let me know. Why didn't you write and tell me where you were? I couldn't spell Afghanistan. Roland. Oh, Roland. Don't look at me. I can't spell it either. I mean, I'm sorry I got you into this mess. Don't shoot him, Butch. Don't shoot him. Shoot me? Too late, babe. Well, how will you have it, Roland? In the back or through the head? Oh, well, my head's been aching. It... Shoot me! He's desperate, Roland. Give him anything to leave us alone. Give him money. A money. A money. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, um, look, all I got is the dough from the bank job. They're only ones. Ones? Yeah, I'm only a beginner starting from the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Let me have the dough. Yeah, but look. You better let him have it, Roland. He's a killer. He's a very bad actor. Who's a bad actor? Why, Miss Revere, I'll have uh, you know Bill, that I... this is a fine time to get hammy. 
Hey, there's something fishy here. Um, oh, I'm sorry, Maisie. I, 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 I... Okay, I, reach for the sky. Ay, 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 ay. Look, Mom, don't shoot. I can explain. Save your breath, honey. You ain't got much more breathing left to do. Well, son, what are you waiting for? Do something. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll phone the cops, Mom. Save your nickel, Roland. We're here. She sure got here fast, didn't they, Mom? Why, you... Drop the rod, Mother. We got you very nicely covered. Gee, you got here just in time, Inspector. Well, there's your loot. Yeah, and there's your crooks. Yeah, Inspector. Oh, look out, Mom's getting away. Well, she won't get far. The joint's surrounded by cops. Well, tell them if they have to shoot, to shoot her in the hand. Why? Some poor old woman can still use that dress. In just a moment, we shall return to the adventures of Maisie. mother is safely behind bars, I can breathe again. I let Bill take all the reward money. He did miss out on getting that acting job. Besides, he needed the money more than me. But there's one good thing about being broke. Anything that happens after that's an improvement. Well, like the fellow said, the best things in life are free. And when he said that, he just wasn't beating his gum. Take a little thing like water. Simple, ain't it? But did you ever try to take a bath without it? And air. Just try breathing something else and see how far you get. Well, I still got some old clothes collecting to do for the unfortunates. So if I happen to knock at your door from this for some discarded things, don't turn me down. You know, you'd be surprised to find out how warm you can feel if you give your old coat to somebody who really needs it. <laughs> just heard The Adventures of Maisie, starring Anne Southern. Maisie was written by Arthur Phillips. Original music was composed and conducted by Harry Zimmerman. Supporting cast included Sidney Miller, Joan Banks, B. Benaderet, Frank Nelson, Pat McGeehan, and Peter Leeds. Jack McCoy speaking. Yeah. 